Hey everyone, it's Frankie Lou and Angus. Um, we're having to do a video today because our fridge broke down last night. <laughs> it happens. And as a result, we have a whole bunch of Ace and V's that were um, intended to be uh, released once our apple tree ha was um, Not blooming. On the but now they gotta be released today. Ew. We could literally hear mm. them scratching to get away. Um, <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to show you guys um, a picture, a better picture of some of the boys, because it really is cute the way that they uh, have their little mustache. Okay, um, this is. Uh, whoop. Okay, hold on, Angus, can you hold the camera? Let's see if I can get a couple more out here. Oh, I think maybe our little boys have gone away, but I will include. I got some still. Oh, here's some buzzy bees. Whoa! <laughs> They're going crazy. But if you look there, you can see the little guy. That one's a boy. Yeah, that one is a boy. He's he has a mustache. mustache. And we got some bigger girls. And um, she's quite beautiful, isn't she? But look at how cute this little guy is. All right. he's uh, He's got his little mustache. Yeah, they're going to be helping us out big time with pollinating in our garden. Yeah, they're they're much more efficient at doing this job than our honeybees are. We love our honeybees, and we will be doing some more videos about them soon because we did split our hive yesterday. But um, these guys we love just as much. And if you can't do honeybees, these are extremely rewarding animals to be working with, particularly as they don't sting. Yeah. Um, we're hoping we have enough blossoms around here um, in our greenhouse. And we do know that we have... Um, enough dandelions around now to, to keep these guys going. Okay. Um, we've had a few questions on our previous Mason Bee video about um, specifics. So we thought we'd share a few answers here. Uh, they are very, very intolerant of water. There is a, of too much water getting in the hive. So here's what you do when um, you find a whole bunch of dead bees um, in like a body of water prevent that from happening again you put corks here you go There's and let them one float going. around mm -hmm. and the, the bees will actually land on the corks and we have plenty of corks around the house don't we Angus so yeah because probably... I used to collect corks <laughs> yeah that's why and um and another thing though is you do want to orient your hive so that it's not going to get wet your bee house so um what we're going to do is when you are putting your beehive your bee house out it's good to have it on a slight angle going downwards so that if it does happen to rain in their area they have an opportunity to have the water drain down away from the entrance not into the entrance because if it goes in the entrance it's going to kill your little bee larva we don't want that right i just saw one of my little girls go in there that we probably one of the ones we released the other day so we're so happy that they've accepted this nest as a place. I'm hoping I can capture her coming out because it's pretty cute when they emerge from their their little tubes. And there she goes. Oh, she backed back in. That means she's laying an egg. Okay, so what she's done is she brought in um, some pollen and some nectar and made a nice little food ball. She placed it at the back of the nest there. And then she came out of the nest because she would have brought that in with her face, right? And now she's backed back in because she's actually laying a, an egg in there. And pretty soon she'll go find some clay. That'll be the next step. And she'll put a little bit of clay in between that egg that she's laying right now and her next ball, food ball that she's creating. So I've never actually caught them. There she goes. Hi, hey, sweetheart. Never actually caught her one laying an egg before, so I'm very excited about this. I hope that that's helpful. Please do give mason bees a try if you think you have enough blooms around. Yep, they'll never hurt you. They won't hurt you. Unless you try to squish them. And yeah. even if they do try to hurt you, you won't, it, you'll think it's just a mosquito bite. 
And we're going to include, we're going to try to get a few still images here um, of these that we can include in this video. We're also going to be doing some more videos this week on planting pollinator friendly garden in, gardens. And um, we'll probably do another one on potato planting because it's time to get those puppies in the ground. All right, so I hope you had a great day. Please do, if you're interested in seeing more, subscribe so that you can see our updates. And um, yeah, we uh, hope you take today's chance to grow together. Thanks a lot.